what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a new video guys so if you guys haven't noticed I've been trying to post like almost every single day so I'm just trying to continue that today I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I edit my car pictures for Instagram how I edit it on Lightroom how I do everything so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing I figured I'll just do like a quick little walkthrough on how I edit Let's go ahead jump into that right now I'm gonna go sit down with my laptop uh, edit some pictures for you guys all right guys so we are sitting down in my room um, on my laptop I'm using a MacBook Pro to edit pictures some of you guys might have like a desktop some of you guys might be using a MacBook uh, but this is like the laptop version for the MacBook all right guys so when I'm first editing the picture what I'll normally do um, I will look at my presets to see if I like how any of them look so I have a ton of different presets um, some of them are weird wacky some of them are actually really good a lot of the time I use like these car clear ones that you guys can see down here I'll use those a lot. These are like my own that I created. So if you guys are interested in like a preset pack, definitely let me know. I can definitely work on something like that. So yeah, I will look at my different presets, see which ones I like. So this one has a lot of like lifted shadows on here. So I'm really liking this car warm number seven that I have. Um, I know my names on there are kind of funny, but uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll use this one. Um, so this is what's looking like right now without any like adjustments. So what I'll do normally is I'll adjust like the exposure to like try to have like the car be like properly exposed and then everything else is kind of overexposed at this point. So what I'll do is I'll take the graduated filter. I believe that's what it's called. And I'll just drop the exposure a lot so I can actually like see the the actual background better um, so now you guys can see the clouds better um, so that's what I do for that and then I also do it for the ground to just make it darker so more of the focus is on the car so I'll drop that down a little bit and now you guys can see the clouds like a ton you know what I mean so now the clouds there's a lot of foreground so this picture was is a pretty good picture to start with um, the color is really nice so now what I would do is I would take this little uh, other circular filter, I don't know what it's called, um, and I'll put the exposure up a little bit. And I'll just brush around to make the car a little bit brighter. And so that's the before, that's the after so far, and it's pretty good, I'm enjoying this picture so far. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll mess with the, the filter up here a little bit and add some warmth. So it looks more like like a warm sunset so that's what I normally do with these um, I will show you all the other settings so these are the settings for this specific uh, preset so the exposure is at 0.65 contrast negative 15 highlights negative 75 shadows plus 50 uh, whites negative 60 blacks plus 2 um, clarity plus 8 texture dehaze we don't mess with that a little bit of vibrance uh, so plus 5 vibrance negative 20 saturation and here's what my line curve is looking like so if, in case you guys are curious and want to try this type of edit out for yourself here's what it looks like here's the hue for you guys if you guys are interested in this you can just pause um, and take a look at these so I'll let you look at everything so there's the hue there's the saturation there's the luminance, here's the sharpening and everything over here, and then this is the last part right here. This is just like a little overview of everything. So if you guys are interested in this type of preset, now you can just copy and paste it for you guys yourselves. Um, but yeah, this is how it's looking. I like how this looks. Uh, now what I would do is I, was, I would export it. So let's go ahead and export it. And I would say that's a done deal. So. Let's go ahead and move on to another different type of picture. So this one's in like shade, no sun really, uh, pretty much mostly a shady spot. These are really easy to edit for the most part. I enjoy editing these ones. They normally come out really good. Um, when the background is shady and the car itself is shady, it makes it really easy with like the exposures. Um, this is what it looks like before. So let's go ahead and start editing it. Uh, I'll look at my presets. If I like any, I'll use some. Alrighty, so this one I actually found a preset that I really like. Um, it's the same preset that I used for the first one with like the first sunset. I might just make that one downloadable so you guys can use that one um, if you guys are interested in something like that. Uh, but this is like, these are the settings that I used for it. Um, this is literally, I didn't really have to do anything except for put the preset on and it looks really good. I put on the preset, adjusted the exposure and it looks good. Um, I'll go ahead and adjust a few more things. So I'll put the graduated filter on the bottom of the car. 
and I'll make it a little bit darker so more of the focus is on the car. And then I'll do that for the same on the top. Just a little bit. So now there's more focus on the car. And honestly, I might get rid of the Aqua. Uh, I really don't like how the Aqua in, uh, how the Aqua looks in car pictures because it makes the windshield look really like blue. And that's like really the only thing that it actually affects. So watch, the Aqua is at negative 18. And if I bump it all the way down, and it just looks a lot better like that, in my opinion, without the aqua and the windshield. So normally I like to bump it down. I might leave it a little bit so it has some more color in the background as well. But uh, yeah, that's this picture is pretty much done. I will go ahead, add some more exposure around the bumper. So that you can actually see the bumper. Um, so there we go. Should be good yeah so here's before and here's after I think that looks really really good I'm really happy with that um, so let's go ahead and export that one so this is what I do with my car pictures how I edit it how I go about doing things I have a few more videos on that kind of stuff as well if you guys are interested in this though let me know and I can make some more and maybe I'll even drop some presets if you guys are interested in that if you guys enjoy the video make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below it really helped me out guys like I said, trying to do these daily uploads, um, trying to come up with video ideas, it can get kind of stressful. So if you guys have any video ideas for me, let me know down below, it would really help me out. But without further ado, remember, stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that project car. I will catch you guys later.